let's get started with dotnet maui and the google wallet passes so at first we will be configuring our uh, the server side that is uh, creating our google wallet passes on our google pay account uh, that is our uh, new web api provided by the google so make sure that your country is supported for google pay as well as the google wallet so here uh, as a developer i'll be signing up uh, with a new account then our next step is to go to the uh, profile section on these uh, three dots that we can see on the right hand side the main intention of our work is to go to the google pay uh, text that is written over in the product section so we'll be selecting this google pay and then here you can see uh, we have android web as well as the transaction events and uh, uh, we can just view the document for any of the platform that you are using so here i'll be selecting android because we are going to uh, create wa um, google wallet passes on our uh, .NET maui android and in our previous tutorial i have already discussed about uh, the um, google wallet passes on our ios platform so uh, that is our apple passes on the apple platform so here we'll be selecting the uh, uh, like um, uh, the country which is supported with google wallet and the google pay uh, and here united States is selected for me and then here i'll be giving the uh, business name for my whole business for our google pay as well as wallet so make sure that you are using some valid names because it will go for verifications later then our next work is to go to the business profile and set up our business profile here we'll just select set up uh, payment method and uh, we can just scroll down a little bit so here you can see uh, the business identity it is asking for so make sure that you scroll down and scroll up because this i think it's a ui problem or what i don't know but uh, yeah so uh, here uh, select the individual uh, type or as well as the business profile that you will be selecting for the google wallet passes so here we'll be selecting the business address so here we'll be selecting the uh, place where we stay so here uh, you can just uh, select uh, any any of the um a place that you are staying and the city too i have filled all the information over here that is required and then at finally i'll just click on save and uh, it is asking for me to use this address as a suggested address i'll just select s okay so that is it now uh, our next step is to go a little bit down over here and uh, edit our business information then here uh, we'll just uh, select the merchant category let's select artistic supplies and craft shop that's it okay so now uh, we'll just give the customer supports uh, website name so my website is uh, my examinegaiso.com so i'll just copy it and then uh, add it over here and then uh, customer support url so here also i'll just add a customer support email so this is my email that i will be using so i'll just copy and then paste it over here and similarly it goes for the uh, customer support phone number so it should be uh, your uh, phone number in us or uh, it should be on the country that you stay and click on save that's all after it's done then you will see that your business profile is under review that is it so our step number one is completed now our second work so in our second work we'll be selecting this google wallet api and then here uh, we'll just uh, build your first passes and here you two you need to understand that these passes are really going to be validated by the google support team so make sure that you are give, going to create a very good uh, google passes of your uh, business and don't use uh, the uh, like test passes um, and uh, be, because they are going to be rejected uh, as soon as uh, the google finds out that this is some uh, uh, test passes that uh, the user has created so here I, i'll just uh, use some test passes for our uh, business so here i have written fashion uh, express and then we can give any name as we like so uh, here i uh, will just uh, use the url of the image that need to be added for the passes you can just add anything as you like so you can give the header name uh, add the headers and the body so that is it now i'm just going to create the class 
so please make sure that uh, this class is a valid class or else the google is going to reject it so at first uh, like we have already completed our uh, creating creation of the classes now um, we have a request public access uh, uh, fun functionality but here we have, if you want to set a test account then you can add a uh, uh, any of the users that you like but uh, this account I will be using that is like a uh, GC Sam is uh, my account so I will be accessing all the APIs but if you want to add more testers like uh, some GC official or any any other as you like then you can add it over there uh, as a testers then our next work is to request for us to uh, give a reason why we want Google Wallet passes uh, so after adding some test text uh, as uh, a request I have provided uh, the Google that I want the Google I, I, web API access so it will go for verification but before that we can just test whether our passes work or not so at first we'll just download uh, this um, whole project or you can just clone it so as soon as I download it then uh, I'll just extract it over here itself or you can create a new folder in the desktop okay so give it a name as uh, google uh, passes okay so server project and then i'll just drag and drop this uh, um, the whole uh, complete zip file and extract it over here so extract it then our next work is to uh, edit the uh, for, for folder name of the whole project so it is uh, google uh, passes server so you can just give any name as you like but uh, the main thing you can do is uh, you don't need to uh, like do everything like this uh, way so i'll just uh, uh, give this folder name also uh, as my server app so you can just copy the code to a new SPNet core project and then uh, use all the code codes that are over here uh, to on your sp.net core project right click on the solution file and then here uh, what i'll do is i'll just unload the project and here you can see it is targeting uh, net core 2.2 uh, i don't want that i just want to target the latest dot uh, uh, net core that is dot uh, net core 7.0 if your uh, system supports uh, 6.0 or 8.0 you can just uh, do that of your own and then here uh, as soon as i click on save then everything is uh, uh, like uh, all the all the pl plugins are configured automatically and uh, here the program.cs is the the main place where everything all the magic happens our main work is to configure our uh, the JSON file that are there in the project so in order to get all the values we need to go to our uh, uh, Google wallet passes console and the Google um, developer console uh, that is our uh, uh, in this section that is register to access the REST API this section that is learn how to get access to the APIs so it will navigate the user to the Google Cloud platform so now we'll just click on open link in new tab so just don't close all the tabs that you have uh, uh, there on your browser so here uh, it will uh, send us to console.cloud.google so in this uh, uh, cloud console we need to again recreate a new account so i have a new account that's why i'm accepting all the terms and condition over here and here as soon as uh, uh, we uh, like uh, a new account is created then uh, here it will ask for creating a new project at first then here i'll be providing the project name of as uh, the pro a valid pro pro project name for your uh, uh, whole project so here i'll just add the fashion store and then click on create and it will uh, create a new project and here uh, we'll just select the open project then we'll just get navigated to this screen now our next work is to enable the google wallet api by clicking on that link so clicking on enable it will uh, enable the google uh, pay uh, passes api now it's the time for extracting out all the credentials from this google cloud console so here uh, as soon as we are done our next uh, objective is to create a new service account and it is asking for and then uh, we'll just create a web client after that so here you, it will ask for a service account so inside google cloud console here we'll be creating our uh, service name so that is what our uh, name of the service uh, account looks like that is wallet uh, web client so the same th same thing goes for my me also so i can just give any type of name as i like so here i'm giving fashion express 
and then service here uh, i can uh, create and continue then uh, finally i can click on continue i don't need second option and click on done so we are not going to uh, select any type of optional uh, section and here if i click on fashion express service dot fashion uh, then it will navigate to second screen here uh, inside the add key section uh, we'll just create a new json key and if you click on create then it should provide me a json file which contains all the credentials in order to generate uh, the passes i'll just click on close then let's go to the json file so it in folder and you can just open it with uh, your text uh, editor or any of the uh, um, uh, on any of the uh, ids but here i'll just select the bs code id and then uh, copy all the codes in our project uh, so in our project uh, here is there is one file name as omnipass.json so i can just copy all the codes from here and then uh, paste it inside our uh, whole project then our uh, omnipass.json file is totally configured then it's time to configure our config.json file so there are two files basically so we need to configure our config.json file so it is located over here at first it is asking for our api key so at first we need to go to our browser then here inside our google cloud console here you can see in our uh, services account section inside the keys here uh, it will provide me the uh, key id so here we'll just copy it then we'll just uh, try to save that uh, uh, key id to our uh, uh, config.json file so this is the actual key that we have now it's time to uh, configure our path uh, of our omni part uh, just json so here you need to, to um, see the path you can just click on properties or directly get it from the tab at top okay so here you can see uh, this is my location of our omnipass.json so that is located inside this location so what we'll do is um, like we'll just uh, uh, go over here to the config.json and here you can see i'll just uh, copy and paste the account file name uh, and then uh, we'll just remove this code and then paste it over here and there were uh, double dashes right we need to remove it uh, from here okay so that is it so this is the actual path for my omnipart.json which is located in my uh, desktop that is our google pass server and that is it now it's time for getting the email address from the server so in order to get the uh, email address then we need to again go to the google pay uh, and wallet console inside google wallet api uh, uh, this is the issuer id let's copy that issuer id at first and then only uh, the email address so uh, we don't have uh, uh, we, we have the private key right we'll just copy this private key by uh, putting a space so that we can just uh, copy up to down and then we'll just uh, paste the private key over here we'll just remove the space okay from here and that is it so we, we got our private key also filled uh, added and now our next work is to add the email address so in order to get that email address at first uh, we need to first of all go to our google cloud and then go back and then uh, let's go to the credentials section then here uh, you can see the email id over here uh, this is the email actual email id that need to be added so this email id uh, i'll just copy it and then uh, that is it so this email id will be pasted inside the um, project that is our this address and uh, now it's time to configure our code so the same thing goes for our i'll just uh, close that so, so the same thing goes for our uh, config.json file the same path we need uh, need to rename uh, the path that uh, that is there so we'll just uh, rename the path of the file where it is actually located so here uh, open containing folder and then again uh, we can just take the uh, path from top okay and then directly copy and then paste it okay so the uh, path is also configured over here i'll just uh, paste it over here and uh, that's uh, that is the configuration part for config as well as the omnipass.json now our next work is to scroll a little bit down and then uh, update some of the codes uh, that we actually have so here i'll just uh, paste the code that is uh, token equals uh, google JWT barrier token and now our final step is to go to again google play and wallet console 
and then uh, invite a user so the email address that we have created on uh, google um, uh, google cloud console that need to be added so here this is the email address uh, that need to be added uh, to the uh, google wallet console so here uh, uh, i'll just uh, give the uh, user as a admin and then add that uh, uh, user as an admin Finally, we have created our whole configuration for Google Wallet and uh, now the key that gets generated out of this uh, is going to be sent via API or uh, sent directly to the from by uh, email or anything as you like and after this link is clicked then user directly goes to the Google Wallet app that is there on the phone so make sure that phone contains the Google Wallet app and share this link uh, via email or from the API so that uh, the user is allowed to add the passes that was generated directly to the wallet. We'll be taking a blank .NET MAUI app and configuring it for our Android client. So at first we'll be creating a simple button. So this button is only uh, needed. Okay, so this code is only needed and a click handler whenever that button is clicked, then uh, we don't need to copy any of the code. So don't copy anything. Okay, so whenever it is uh, taken to the Android side. Okay, so we have already uh, learned about the iOS Apple wallet passes, how we're gonna generate it. Okay, and uh, how uh, the server uh, gives us the uh, to token and then everything okay we don't need to focus it as of now we have already discussed about this uh, in our previous tutorials regarding the apple wallet passes so in this tutorial what we are going to discuss is uh, regarding the uh, by uh, like uh, the data that was provided by our client app uh, and uh, which we have generated for our google passes so this is the code that i have copied and pasted it so all the data will come either from the api or from the email i don't know how how you are going to get it okay so uh, whenever we get this uh, uh, data then uh, we, we need to add this code that is device dot begin work on the main thread so that it will launch the browser and then directly hits this code but make sure that uh, your uh, android phone uh, contains the uh, wallet app so here is my wallet app so this is my wallet app so uh, let me run the app and then show it to you how it really works Okay, so whenever I click on this button, then it will navigate to the browser and here you can see this will come and if I click on Google Pay, then our uh, wallet is going to be added over here after clicking on add. So that is it. So you view it in wallet. So this is my whole uh, uh, wallet detail. So uh, if you want to configure more on the Android implementation side to check whether the uh, wallet app has been installed or not, then I have added this code. So in our uh, platform Android specific okay so these are more more tasks uh, to be done like uh, still uh, this is pending but uh, like um, the, to find identify whether the, um, the wallet app is there or not and whether uh, to open the whole code via uh, the package name or not so this is not required uh, for you but uh, only focus on this one as of now so that is it for this tutorial thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for our next tutorials